What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really, really, really appreciate that. Now, for today's recipe, we're actually going to go to waste inside of India, to uh, to Kathiawar, to uh, to Rajasthan. We're going to be making some saved tomato. Now, saved tomato, it's a um, it's one of the recipe that's very well known, very famous recipe from Rajasthan and also from Kathiawar, which is from Gujarat, which is where I come from. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. All right guys, so for today's recipe, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a lot of ghee. So I have ghee that's already getting warmed in the pan. Now with that, um, when you make um, when you make Gujarati recipe and when you make um, when you make Rajasthani recipe, we use uh, we use a lot of mustard seeds in the in the food that we cook. So what we're gonna be doing, it's we're gonna be adding a little bit of jeera in there, and with jeera, we're gonna be adding a little bit of rye with it too, which is mustard seed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let this crackle and once the rye and jeera are crackled, we're gonna start adding the remaining of the ingredients. Alright guys, so once our rye, uh, rye and jeera has crackled, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a lot of, lot of fresh garlic. Once we add fresh garlic, we're also gonna go ahead and add fresh ginger as well. Alright guys, so once we add ginger and garlic in there, we want to be very careful. We want to make sure that uh, we don't let it turn uh, brown. We're just gonna get it. Uh, we're just gonna get it golden. Once the garlic has turned golden, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add finely, finely, finely chopped onions to it, and we're gonna let the onions cook until the onions have turned uh, turned golden yellow. Alright guys, so our onions have turned brown. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and add some green chilies to it. And after adding green chilies, what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. Um, and also, before adding the salt, what I'm going to do, to get a good taste, I'm just going to add just a little bit of hing. Just a little bit, tiny, tiny hing. So just a pinch of hing. And with that, we're going to go ahead and add salt to it, salt to taste. Again, remember, I cook for about five to six people. Use the proportion to the amount of people you're cooking for. All right, guys, so after adding um, adding salt, chilies, and hing, what we're going to do now, this is a twist that I use. What we're going to add is I, I have some um, tomato yogurt here, which is pretty much... Uh, it, two tomatoes that I have uh, blended or, or finely crushed made tomato puree with yogurt. This is my twist to making um, uh, to making the um, saved tomato. And what it does, it, it will give you a much creamier taste to your sabji. Now once we add the tomato yogurt in there, what we're going to do is we're going to wait and uh, cook the yogurt for about one and a half minute. Um, so that way um, the yogurt gets completely cooked. And once that's done, we're gonna start adding the remaining of the ingredients to it. All right, guys. So once our tomato yogurt is cooked, you can see that our uh, our ghee has separated from the curry. At this point, we're gonna start adding our spices. So spices are very, very, very basic. Again, turmeric powder. As you guys know, I love turmeric powder, the best antibiotics you can have. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and add about one and a half spoon of dhania powder. Now traditionally when um, uh, traditionally when the saved tomato is made, it's it's a very, very spicy sabji. Uh, Rajasthani food and Kathiawadi food, it's usually a little bit spicier. Um, again, not making too spicy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Kashmiri chili for the color. So we're gonna use ample amount of Kashmiri chili, make sure we get that nice red color to it. Now I'm gonna share my trick for you guys. Uh, I'll tell you the reason why we added the um, why we added the yogurt and also the tomatoes, so tomato puree and yogurt to the food. Uh, reason for adding tomato puree and yogurt to the food is traditionally when um, when Katyawadi and Rajasthani people made the food, they usually carried the food with them when they were traveling. Uh, Rajasthani people and Katyawadi people, a lot of them are Banjaras. Uh, they travel from one state to another state for uh, for looking for work, looking for money. Um, 
and adding the yogurt to it, what it does, it yogurt acts as a natural preservative. So yogurt was something that was always used in, uh, in Kathiawadi recipes. Uh, so that is the reason for using to yogurt tomato puree. Um, and it actually just makes it much, much, much smoother for us. All right, guys, so once your gravy is cooked and all your spices are mixed up together, now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just half a spoon of uh, garam masala. Now, after adding garam masala, now the main part comes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water. And after adding some water, now I have some tomatoes here, I have about five to six tomatoes, a uh, big size tomato that I have uh, I have roughly uh, roughly paste. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put those tomatoes in the sabji. And after putting the tomatoes in the sabji, we're gonna let it cook for about minute, minute and a half until the tomato gets a little bit softer. And then pretty much our recipe is gonna be all done. All right guys, so our food is pretty much done. Uh, the tomatoes have cooked um, and boiled perfectly. Um, now what we're going to do is we're not going to completely uh, boil the uh, tomatoes. We just want them to get a little smushy like that. So you, we want the tomatoes to keep their retain their shape, but we also want them to be soft. So when if you just take it to the side of your um, your pan and if you just smush it against it, it becomes very soft. Your um, your utensil goes through it pretty qu uh, clear but it doesn't break down completely. So that's how we want your tomatoes to be like. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some freshly chopped dhania. Again, any Indian food we make, it's never complete without fresh dhania. Now, once we add dhania, we're gonna give it a good quick stir and then our food is ready. Um, so what the save, um, what I would suggest for you to do uh, traditionally, it's used with the Ratlami save. If you're not able to find Ratlami save, you can use any save um, that you have. Just make sure it's a little bit thicker, not a very thin or not, not the fine save that we get. That we get. So, <clears throat> right before you're serving the dish, just before serving the dish, put the save on top of it, add a little bit more dhania, and your, your dish is ready to go. Alright guys, so the food is ready, not waiting on you. Let me know what you want me to make for you in next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.